Good afternoon and welcome back to Storky Farmstead. Today we're going to introduce to you the reasons that we are in an organic homestead here in Louisiana. Storky Farmstead accepts EBT and SNAP, Senior Vouchers, and WIC Vouchers. So we encourage you to stick through the video and hear our reasons why we are organic and why we encourage you to purchase organic and locally grown food. Have a blessed day. The foliar sprays really help. Your plants absorb a tremendous amount of nutrients through their leaves. I mean, think of it like your skin. This is their skin. So they can absorb through this. So you have to be really careful and you have to really think through, what am I putting on my plants? Because whatever this plant absorbs, that is what is going to show up in the food that you eat. Okay? It just makes sense. If your skin absorbs something, if your lungs absorb something, that shows up in your bloodstream, right? So that same concept is going to work with whatever you put on your plants is going to inevitably, there's no way around it, end up in the fruits and vegetables that it produces. So when we say that we're organic, there's a reason for that. When you think of things like pesticide, fungicide, herbicide, it has an I-C-I-D-E in it. Look up what that means. It means to kill. So if you're putting something on your plant that has a purpose to kill something else and the plant absorbs it, if it can kill the fungicide, the weeds, and the pest in the right dose, it will kill you. Now, the theory behind that is you're not going to drink any of those. But after years and years of eating food that is doused in those chemicals, they build up in your system. There are scientific studies right now you can look them up on Google, Google it, educate yourself, that in utero, in a mother's body, the amniotic fluid around her baby, there has been known when they have drawn that amniotic fluid in women in America to have up to 26 pesticides inside of the amniotic that her baby, amniotic fluid that her baby is growing in. So think about that. If you're nursing, if you're pregnant, if you intend to get pregnant, if you're 80 years old and you feel terrible and you want to feel better, try to find somebody that's not putting those toxic chemicals on their plants and inevitably getting it into their food. And it doesn't have to cost you an arm and a leg. It honestly doesn't. 